how much fun is this, man? Get to play some more football. Um, first thing I'd like to say is uh, congratulations to Dermani Dawson. Very seldom do you get to uh, um, come in contact, play, line up beside. And I say beside. I never lined up at the offensive line, but I lined up beside him in stretch lines sometimes, uh, and and behind beside a. A Hall of Famer. So proud of him. So uh, um, I'm sad that I won't be able to make it up there tomorrow for the induction ceremonies. Uh, I did get a chance to spend some time with him a couple weeks ago. Uh, he's excited. His family is excited, and everybody um, that all the ex-players that I've talked to are excited for him. So, um, and we'll be uh, we'll DVR the ceremonies. I can't wait to. To, to hear his induction speech. Dermot is a classy guy and represents the, the blue and white, or the big blue nation the right way. And that's exactly what we're, we stand for. Um, Sean Blaylock uh, will have um, season ending knee surgery tomorrow. Uh, actually the seventh, I'm sorry. He will, he will report to Kent, which he reported today. He will, we will then be able to replace him because of uh, because of surgery. Uh, it's a season ending surgery. Uh, it occurred in high school um, after his commitment to us. Um, and uh, he missed a couple games, came back, played a couple games after that. Uh, but after getting here on campus, uh, he uh, requires surgery that will, will end his season. He will um, have surgery on the 7th. Um, we'll keep him here for a couple days, send him home. Uh, until training camp ends, uh, and he'll be back here when school starts. Uh, but it's a season-ending surgery. Also, I've always said that the hardest thing about uh, being a freshman is to get them to be sophomores. And um, you know, so, and we have an academic academic casualty, uh, and Marcus Caffey, Marcus Caffey, uh, is ineligible for the 2012 season. Um, our solution, he, he will practice, he will still be a part of our program, uh, but will be ineligible to play uh, in the 2012 season. Our solution to this, this matter will be uh, Martavius Nellums. Martavius Nellums, uh, two years ago, our, three of our best players in the secondary were lined up at the corner. Okay? You want to try to get your best players on the field. Okay? Martavius Nellums was the the best option to move the safety. Uh, he's the, he was the most physical guy, uh, so we we moved him to safety this year. It's, you know, it, it's now turned to where we have our better players are at safety. Uh, when you start thinking about moving a guy to to, to line up at corner, uh, Martavis is uh, because he's played there a couple years. He's probably the most athletic safety that we have. Uh, we'll move him. Uh, to the safety position. We also um, will, uh, with Blaylock uh, also uh, being out, we'll move J.D. Harmon. We had raving reviews on the, the athleticism, um, the toughness, uh, the mental toughness that J.D. had uh, showed this summer by Coach Rock Oliver and, and, and a lot of our, our veteran players. Uh, so we'll move J.D. Harmon to the, to the corner position. Uh, he'll still be a kick, punt, return, return guy. He's a long, lean athlete that we got to continue to try to get into this program, and he'll be a guy that will move to that position. I don't want to talk about – this is the last – I don't want to answer any questions about the, the, the Marcus Caffey deal. That's it. it when we move on, um, that's, a, uh, that's reality now, um, and uh, we'll, we'll focus on getting prepared for – uh, this season and getting prepared to, to play uh, the University of Louisville. We're excited to be back here on the field, have an opportunity to compete with this team, this 2012 team. Um, why are we excited? Because I get that a lot, okay? That's usually y'all's first question is why? why? Why is there so, so much excitement? Well, I'm excited because of the leadership that we have on this football team. Um, we have sat down and talked about um, who we thought were some of our leaders. Uh, and since January, uh, that list has grown. Uh, it's, it's, it's doubled. Uh, there's a lot of leaders on this football team, and they showed that throughout, the, throughout our off season, throughout um, 
spring football and throughout the uh, um, summer workouts. I'm excited about the dedication that this football team has displayed. I'm excited about the hunger that this football team uh, has shown. Uh, there's numerous times, it wasn't a weekend, I can't remember a weekend. We have to actually have had to change um, our, our system and how we get into our offices because there's so many of our players wanting to get in to watch film on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, there was numerous times that Max Smith will come, has six or seven guys, coach, I need to get in, okay, I'll get somebody there. Or Avery Williamson, coach, we need to get in and watch some film. I got these young guys here, we're all here together. So we have had to change our, our system of how we enter our building. Uh, we're in the process of getting a system where our players can get in there at any time. We've never had that, okay? We have never had that. Where guys were, were just can't wait to get in the building on the weekends, on their off days. Um, I'm excited about that. That's what, that's what makes us excited. I'm excited about the commitment level that this football team has shown. I'm excited about how much they care about each other. Uh, and our goal at, at the end of this camp is make sure we come out of this thing one team, okay, as a team, uh, as, a, as a better football team. So uh, that's what makes us excited. We have some very competitive positions that, that uh, bring excitement to us. Uh, the quarterback position is very competitive. The running back position is very competitive. Uh, excited about some of those young safeties that bring uh, competitiveness to our safety position which allows us to move Martavius Nellums. Uh, the tight end position is a very competitive position. Uh, uh, there's been uh, four of the guys that line up at tight end have started uh, uh, games in their career. So um, I'm excited about the wide receiver competition. Um, two guys that, uh, you know, that we're excited about that are freshmen, which allows us to move uh, J.D. Harmon uh, because you know, the three guys that uh, our, our strength and conditioning pro, uh, staff was excited about. Therefore, we were able to move one of those guys, uh, and that guy is J.D. Harmon. Um, I'll tell you how excited Max Smith is. He came to us and said, Coach, I want to room with DeMarcus Sweat. I want to room with DeMarcus Sweat. I've never seen a quarterback come to, uh, to me as a coach and say, I want to room with this guy. This guy's a special coach. Uh, and, and the same with A.J. LeGree. Um we're excited about the Sam linebacker position, that competition. The competition with, with Forrest, who done some unbelievable work in the, in the weight room. Uh, with uh, Corey Brown, who's, who, uh, I'll tell you a quick story about Corey Brown. And then the type of person and type of upbringing that he has, which is the type of kids that we're trying to bring into this program. Corey Brown's a junior college kid, did not qualify out of high school. Corey Brown comes here on his official visit, and I did not remember this. My wife remembered this. Corey Brown on Saturday has a chance to go out, and you know, he's been in a little small town in Mississippi uh, and has a chance to come to, to, to a city of Lexington and see how the city, um, how he fits in the city. He decides on Saturday night, Coach, I got a final. I got a final, Coach. I got, I got to go back up and study. I'm not going out with this, this, this guy. Special. Then... Once he goes back, finishes school, um, I have an opportunity to go down to, this, um, to Charleston to see some other kids. Corey Brown's mom. Corey Brown's mom drives from Charleston, South Carolina to a little small town in Mississippi. Doesn't, doesn't get a hotel room. Picks him up. Drives him back. I'm in Charleston. Say, I've got, I got to catch a flight at 11 o'clock. Okay, I've got to catch a flight at 11 o'clock in, in the morning. Okay, they get in at 7 o'clock. They put his stuff in the house, drive from Monk's Corner to, to Charleston, South Carolina to see me without any sleep. That's the type of kids we're getting in this program. Guys that got good upbringing. Guys that we want representing the University of Kentucky. Guys that care about it. Guy only All he did is come here and they have a 3.5 GPA. Bust his tail in the classroom, bust his tail on the football field, in the weight room, doing the right things. Uh, so I'm excited about the Sam linebacker position with him and Forrest and Miles Simpson, who has who we have deemed as one of the leaders on this football team. Now. Okay, again, they don't always grow up as fast as we. In year three, Miles Simpson is now one of the leaders of this football team. We saw it. It's the reason why we recruited the guy. 
at the wheel linebacker. I'm excited about that position with, with Malcolm McDuffin, um, Khalid Henderson, um, who has got a lot of fire in his belly, a lot of fire. He was one of those guys that Avery Wimson would call, hey, coach, I got Khalid with me. I got to get him in here. He wants to learn. He wants to learn more. He wants to be taken to the next level. So that's why we're excited about this football team. We're excited about the depth that we have at the offensive line position. Okay, the depth that we're, we're, we're gaining in the offensive line position. Okay, because there's five guys. That we, we've never signed a, a full class of guys that look like the guys that we have. Okay, and there's a couple of strength levels. Give them a chance to, to, to compete. To give us some depth at that position. I'm really excited about the defensive line depth. The defensive line should be the strength of our, our defense. Should be the strength of our football team. Again, they don't always grow up as fast as we want them to grow up. P.C. Cobble was in the same situation his freshman year that we just talked about. P.C. Cobble was down one of the guys that we have deemed as one of the leaders on this football team. In year four, okay, in year four, he is, he's one of the guys that we have deemed being one of the leaders that does everything the right way, the right way we want him, want him to do it, okay. His, his GPA is now at a 2.6 after falling really far behind as a freshman. Uh, and he's becoming one of those guys that bringing guys with him. That's what we're excited about. Okay, so um, with that, we'll open it up with questions.